Hey. Um, so uh his another episode of this journey of recovery from having this rotator cuff surgery. Sleeping is a challenge. I am not allowed to sleep in the bed. They don't recommend that. So they recommend that you sleep in a recliner chair. Problem is, I don't have a recliner chair. So I have to get creative in how I sleep. And this medicine that I take keeps me sleepy. Like, um, I've been up for maybe a couple of seconds. I, I doze off a lot. So really, for real, for real. The typing on... Uh, the keyboard I'm not really supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, the typing on the social media, however, I'm not really supposed to do that. But I want to document everything. I don't want to miss everything. So I'm in a chair. I've rearranged the living room just a little bit to put like the table to the left of me. So when I get a little better and I'm able to actually begin doing work on my computer. And this is my left hand. I'm right-handed. Okay, so this is my left hand, so I'm becoming ambidextrous. Um, I know that I could write with my left hand, but right now the issue is like being overly tired because of those medicines, the medicine. So I've definitely got to wean myself off of this medicine, plus with how, plus with how it affects me with sleeping. I've got to wean myself off, off of it. Um, so this morning, being in the hospital. I took the pain medicine an hour later than what um, normally I would have taken. I was supposed to take it like at 6.45, 7 o'clock. I ended up taking it at 8. Um, so I took the next one at 12.45, I think. Um, I ain't even going to try to remember no times now. I think I took it at two. I mean, okay, see, I'm gonna skip past that because <laughs> I'll be all day trying to figure out an hour and a time. I know I got my phone set with alarms, so when it goes off, it'll be time for me to take the next pain medicine. So, the challenge of sleeping. Um, I'm sitting in the chair, so normally I'm like sitting back. This chair has a high enough back on it where I can rest my head on the back of it without hurting my neck too much. I also have a neck pillow. You know how y'all, when y'all go flying or go on a trip or whatever, you use neck pillows. I have a neck pillow um, <laughs> that I do have. Um, my husband bought me the other day. You see that pink back there? That's a pillow. And next to the pink is a that blue, that's another pillow, but that's the pillow with the arms. So it's back there in the corner. That's where I was before I was like, you know, I need to call my husband and something had to happen because I can't breathe when I was panicking. But usually it's like right here and I'm sitting up. I pop my leg up on the coffee table. Um, this right here is the end table. Like I said, I'm sitting in a chair. So... Like I said, you got to be creative in how you sleep. Here's another little pillow. Um, this is my computer right here. This is my computer. I'm not ready yet to begin opening it because I'm doing a lot of sleeping. So I think once I get past this pain medicine, um, once I can get past the taking of the pain medicine, because I'm like in and out so much, so bad. Um, so once I get past that, I should be fine. This is my Bible right here. Um, so I could do my reading. I thought, like, when I came over here, I thought, you know, okay, I'm coming here and do some reading. But it ain't happening. My husband's amp for his keyboard is right here. So I had the pillow on top of the amp so that I could um, prop my legs up on that. I'm right here by the window. This is my favorite window, my favorite area in the house, besides my office. This is my favorite area in my house. Um, so <laughs> I'm able to like sit here and just look out the window and just talk to God. And again, I'm a writer. I am a writer. So trust and believe. 
but one of the ways i'll be sleeping is like this y'all remember like in school oh my gosh in elementary school they used to make us take naps like first grade okay so kindergarten they lay you on the mat on the floor i guess i don't remember that part but first grade second grade they used to make us take naps right we had that quiet time and so we had to put our head down on our desk tell me why that stuff prepared me for today <laughs> for real that prepared me for today because i got to sit here and i'm comfortable and sit it up so i could breathe and i still have the issues with the breathing that sent me to the emergency room last night i still have that but because i know what it is i'm good you know i'm able to get through that and relax maybe go to sleep or however but yeah that this is how i sleep this is one of the ways that i sleep learned that in elementary school tell me why don't teach us like don't teach us but i don't okay so i don't have any small children so i don't know like what they're being taught in school today but <laughs> to see you know how there's have you ever took a class in school and you like i don't know why i'm taking this i'm not gonna need this i'm not gonna use this ever in life i don't know why i'm doing this but to to now pull back from things that I uh, experienced or went through. <laughs> yeah, these are my, my bracelets. The newest white bracelet is from yesterday. No, I haven't taken them off. In actuality, they said the blue one, they said the blue one is not supposed to come off uh, for 78 hours, I think they said. 78 hours. Um, the blue one or 72 hours the blue one is not supposed to come off uh, the red one is the allergy one the white one the first white one is uh, the first doctor the tight whitey the tidy whitey <laughs> is the doctor that did the um, surgery the step band and then the other one is the ER band and yes, I still have them on. Um, they'll be coming off short soon. Not, not. I'm not too quick to pull them off just yet because I don't know what's going to happen. And again, when I'm able to take the blue one off, then all of them will come off. But right now, if the blue one got to stay on, the rest of them is going to stay on because again, you, you never know. You know, you just don't know. So that's my update. Um, I have a mini second of energy, mini second of energy, um, but I'm not rushing it, I'm not rushing it, alright y'all, I gotta go.